well that's the hook part of this video finished for all you training enthusiasts who are just interested in that now you can log off but please like and subscribe and now we continue with the events running up to the filming of these trains and the how to photograph steam trains
Right, I'm just setting up now. I was going to go down there, but uh, I don't know. The arches weren't sort of open enough. They were quite sort of like because the angle sort of closed off because the viaducts are quite deeper than you think. So I'll come over here and what I've done is I've increased the openness of the arches and also got the viaduct below the predominant hill in the background. So when the train comes, it will be against the hill, not the sky, if you see what I mean. Right, what I've done here is, I don't know if you can see that, that's probably it. Right, I've focused on the central pillar I've focused on there, I've unlocked it onto manual focus and set it at that. I'm shooting at f11, a 1000 ISO, and I am, or will be shooting at 1000th of a second to freeze the action. This is the correct exposure for this uh, bright day, and it should leave me enough... Uh, highlight information in the clouds uh, what i'll do is if it's dull or the sun's not out when the train goes by i'll take a shot afterwards of the sky and i'll take i'll rack the probably the aperture back wherever that's it until about a stop to bring up the exposure on the actual viaduct itself so that's the plan. We'll see what happens. I sometimes take a shot when it's like this, when the light's sort of uh, perfect. And then stick the train in later. Oop, done that. <laughs> or sometimes I'll actually take it when it's, I'll put it onto the Be landscape setting. That's a hundred ISO, and then take a shot like that. So it's a bracketed shot, wherever that, you know. And I'll put the train in later. That's the plan. We we'll have to wait and see what happens now. Here's the picture and the videos. Enjoy.
Well, hope you enjoyed that and hope it all comes out. I was going to do some landscape photography later on, but the sunset and the light never appeared. So I'll leave you with a little bit of drone and hopefully there'll be some more steam trained photography later in this video. the next day well i've just quickly popped out to photograph the steam train i'm near where's the nearest place i think it's duncow fold which is back there uh where i call it uh near wetherill on the settled carlisle line between wetherill and amthwaite so the train line goes along this embankment along here so i'm just gonna set up and wait for the train to arrive well, I wasn't going to do this steam train, but uh, I thought I'd just popped out. Managed to get here in time to set up. So, usual thing, set the camera up. Uh, that's about 200 mil. Pre-focus on the on the rails, and um, set the camera at a thousand ISO, a thousandth of a second at f11, and just wait for it to come. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this. It's a bit of a boring shot, but I didn't have time to go anywhere which required any walking. This is just drive up, park by the side of the road and just shoot. I can't even remember what the trainer is. It might be uh, British India Line again, or it might be the, was it Scots Guardsman? Or is it the Royal Scot? I can't remember which. I didn't check which one it was. <laughs> so you get what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is F11, forget that 400, it was shot at 1,000th of a second. ISO 1,000. And the train will be coming along here and I'll just fire off until it's just near that bush there. That's just the bookend the shot. And here it is. What else can I say about it? It's quite simple. You just enjoy the video.
before I go, please like and subscribe and tickle the notification bell and share it with your family, friends and enemies.